Hey folks, welcome back to Aloft. I'm just sitting here thinking about windmills and automation. I've moved, I, I tore down the storage barn here on the side and used the deck to set a couple of windmills out there. I set them perpendicular to each other so that whichever way the island's spinning, there's a, well, a one in four chance we're gonna catch wind somewhere. But I need to now get the belts from down there into here, and that's a bit of a challenge. This is the third floor with the bedroom, and this stuff, I could try dropping through the floor, except I'm on this end of the building, and the power's out over there, and there's a door in between, so I don't want a belt running through the room. But I can't go straight up, because there's a bedroom up there, and I... I don't want a belt going across my chaise. So, yeah. Life does have its its hardships, doesn't it? So, that's one of the challenges of today. I just got back from donating blood and was told to take it easy for the next couple of hours. And I know how to do that. This is definitely a take it easy kind of game. But we've I've taken the roof off here. Through this staircase down, I was able to sneak a belt in behind it so that yeah I don't have to cross that pathway so did some more work up in here pulled all those columns out we put in last time just didn't like the look and decided to put in oh well, kind of a, a faux timber frame type of a construction it kind of looks like it anyway so threw these guys across in here and one spine down the middle and then these these big trusses through here I think it looks pretty good and trying to light the place up so I put a bunch of lights up above where they aren't aren't as obvious and then torched down in here and yeah, it looks pretty good I think we can call this mostly done got our exit deck over here I couldn't do that over here the the landscape wouldn't let me it was the hills too high but I was able to get a staircase off at a 45 and that looks pretty good so these guys once we rotate a little bit we'll get them spinning then we'll start running all of the uh, the, the power out of there um, need to think of a place for sheep and alpacas so is it I think it's down here so we can work on that today as well kind of fence off and seal off this area don't have to go too high because they don't jump fences like uh, like these guys do <laughs> that was something else just got all of this done came back the next time and there were birds everywhere yeah they don't they don't know boundaries so what else is in here there's a feather and another egg and feather over there we good nope another feather over here okay um never did make any arrows talked about it but we've got we keep finding them in the chests we've got 44 of them in fact let's set you up instead I'll switch over to the good ones bone arrows and there are a couple of islands off in the distance we noticed that as we closed the episode last time let's uh get up there to the command deck actually i can do it from here so off ahead of us there's actually a whole string of islands out there i flew over there a little bit just to see it and or it was from the uh let's see if i can land here Ah, I'm getting pretty good at that. I keep drawing my sword. Um, either when, after the episode when I flew past to kind of take a peek over there, but I didn't go very far, or just flying around with what we did clearing this island, either way, it triggered, just my presence over there triggered the, uh, the third layer. So, do I have you? I do. So, looking forward, we got a whole string of islands over here. And look at... There, there's just that's the most populated tile or sector that we've seen so far. There's a whole bunch of them to explore here. Not gonna, no point in in doing any more of the knowledge stones, but we can certainly go by and see if there's any sheep and alpacas on them, as well as clear out any more uh, any more bad guys. So also thinking about putting in a gazebo. Got a long list of things I want to accomplish before we call this series done. And I don't know, that's probably going to be pretty soon. Probably another, I don't know, three or four episodes. But we'll have done enough to really get a good taste of what the game's able to do. But I'm thinking a gazebo here, a 
sheep pen of some kind over here. This is, yeah, this is it here. And get automation working again. And maybe get a little bit of a, of a, of a wool providing herd going. And we will be waiting for a release, which on Key Mailer, where you can, you know, as a, as a YouTuber, you can get free uh, um, game keys in trade for putting a series like this together. If you qualify, they have certain, you know, stipulations, have enough uh, followers, enough subscribers, enough views, that kind of thing. But they've got it listed for this game for January of 24. So as far as being able to start streaming or, or recording the uh, the full version, maybe that's real. Maybe that was just a uh, a guess at the time. I don't know. It's, it's I think it's still there. So it may be in January that we'll get uh, the full, at least the early access release of this game. I'm not sure. I haven't heard an official date yet. Um, so let's drive, fly, cruise, sail. A little further ahead. I guess sail is the right word. Head around this guy. Put some forward motion into it. Keep the same elevation, I think. Now, how wide are we versus the part over here? I think where the deck is is about the full width of the island, so I think it's trustworthy. Don't have far to go, so I'm not going to leave the uh, leave the helm. I'll just move in here. Looks like I will drop down just a little bit bit. What is that? Control. There it is. The lower I get, the more I can see. You can see probably better if I took the railing off, but it it works. Okay, we'll call that good there. So forward right now is 33 knots. Yep, I think the sails are working pretty good, even if I can't see them. <laughs> I'm just trusting them. I can't hit F and see numbers through. And if I pull off of here, I'm pretty sure that that is no longer a thing. Yeah, there's no numbers out there. So that's only while you're at the wheel. So I can see there being an advantage to having your helm a little deeper into the island with sails out in front of you. If you really wanted to, to see how things were going. I don't know how important that is once you get it figured out, once you get it working. It's probably good enough. So let's get a little bit closer here, and then we'll we'll grab a parking spot over there and get some things done on the island. Maybe first light we'll head out to one of these. Both of these look corrupted. Though I'm not seeing much more than just a node. Node on that one and nothing on this one. So these may be the uh, kind of islands that haven't fully corrupted yet. Yeah, I see a node there too, on the two nodes. Uh, three? One on top as well. It's a good sized one right there. Alright, let's pull you back. Everything else is zeroed out. Pull out of this. And let's go take a look. Yeah, there's still a lot of trees on that one. Well, we do have all the formations on the ground, though. That one just might be fully developed. This one is pretty barren. So I'm thinking it is spreading, but it hasn't uh, hasn't completed yet. So we'll start there and see if we can, you know, take that out before it gets any worse. But well, I guess I just need to sleep anyway because it's too dark to really go out and build anything. Okay, yeah, let's refill the potion in the backpack and be ready for whatever's coming. I guess also re-coat the tools. So, to do that, I don't need any supplies anymore. All now it is just milk. Kind of odd. You'd think you would need, instead of milk, that you would need more of something here to get you started. At least these guys. To keep supplying the bacteria. But I guess... I don't know. I don't know the logic behind that. But let's go ahead and make... Uh, actually, let's pull back... And put in 10, 17. Let you guys just run. Will you run? I don't know if you will run. You probably won't. We need to get more garlic. So let's just go and grab some of that. We're going to need it for both rounds. That's you guys. 
So instead of clearing all this out like I was doing before and replanting everything, I decided just to grab them as I need them. Just keep a good variety of everything in here. Yeah, let's try to... Oh, plant seed. Till. There we go. Um, garlic here. Toss you into eight. Do that a little better. There we go. And then E. Nope, that didn't work. Eight. There, now E. That's the step I missed a couple episodes back. There we go. I think I've got more over here. Yeah. So let's grab all of these guys. So these are listed as the interior planting beds. Though, I, to be honest, that doesn't make much sense to me. Unless we have some kind of a grow light system, you really can't plant this kind of stuff inside the house anyway. It's not, it don't work quite as well as a house plant. E8, there we go. Replenish you guys. I see I missed one over there. Yeah, gather you, till you, and plant you. Perfect. I think that is it. Um, you know, while we're out here, let's go ahead and get the flax. What is that? Seven. And we can... This is something that can process itself, basically. Just put that in the the, the flax break and walk away. Oh, no, it can't because I'm not automated anymore. Yeah, there is a reason to get that job done. Let's see if I hit here. No, not doing a good job of hitting multiples this time. There we go. I gotta hit just the, the bottom of that one over there. And then it'll catch the one in front of it. We good now? I think we are. Now you get back a lot more seeds than the uh, than you plant. So no problem with running out. In fact, there's enough extra there to uh, be able to make some more bird seed out of it. Now, can I just kind of spam this around? Kind of. I don't think it doubles plants now, so there's no danger of accidentally using up all your seeds. But you've got to be within a certain distance of. And I'm not good at walking and pounding that E at the same time. Those fingers don't want to work independently of each other. <laughs> we have a lot of wheat. Yeah, probably could... Uh, some of that for garlic. Okay. Oh! I've noticed something. Oh, I've also moved. That's right. About the windmills. When they're stuck and they won't move, if you go somewhere else on the island, they'll start moving. As soon as you go up to them, they're like, oh, oh we're not supposed to be moving. Then they stop. And then the brakes come on. But we've got enough wind for this guy to go crazy, and this guy's just barely catching a little. I think that's really cool. I like the, the aerodynamics of the game. Um, let's see, put eight away. And actually, it would really be nice to get that working. Maybe we'll hit the island tomorrow. How do we get motion up onto that third floor? Um, hopefully when... I need, a, I need a staircase here. I really do. Hopefully when the game releases, there is a better version of this guy. I want to see these guys go up and down like when you mount this originally and you choose its height. I want to choose this height as well. Same concept. So that would be nice to be able to set your own level. And then it would be nice to maybe another click or probably another version that's got this. Let's see if I can keep my head from getting chopped off here. That transition gear system right there so that we can transition from vertical to horizontal with these guys. So we need one of those that lets us go up and down as well as side to side and then we need to adjust our heights. And the side to sides even could be wall mounted. That would be nice. Just like the pillar will mount to both a wall to make a beam or a floor to make a post. So hopefully we get a good variety of these when the time comes. But for now I need to go uphill. I need to get to that second floor. I need to get in that window right there. So how best to accomplish that and not have to walk through it? 
and staircase. I was talking, wasn't I? Okay, staircase, uh, you there, and rotate you around. I have a hard time getting these to mount when you're above it. So some things you've got to be above, some things you've got to be below. Now you, where's my dot? Don't reach. Okay, so I need, I think I want a narrow one. Well, maybe not. They hit about the same place. Um, actually, I was there, wasn't I? So move over to you right there. Yeah, you do kind of cross over. Okay. So we'll go for that one and kick you over. Yep, I guess that works. Okay. So up in here. Whoa. Yeah. Gotta watch out for that. Get your head cut off. All right. So I need to get up and over. No, it doesn't cross. It looked like it did when I came through there, but I got it all underneath. So I need to come out of here to somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. There is no way to do it without cutting my head off right here. So that one we're just gonna have to deal with. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately. Now, if I were to, I saw a video once, and somebody had walked over and accidentally stepped on that and he started spinning around with it i thought wow i didn't know you could do that if we can mount some kind of a uh, of a plate on there you can make an amusement ride um how do i get from there out i almost need to build something to set one of these on at a higher elevation how would you do that there's the target right there i mean i could go from there to here just to get it working again Hmm. If I just set one of these here, wish I could see that. Like that, we can get from here to there. There, we could track down. Can't see what's above me, though. Like that, but I'm in the wall. So right there. And then from there... Hmm. Yeah, I can't look up. If I were to do, I guess just mount him kind of in the rock a little bit. Right there. All right, let's see what that does. So this one could be a little bit higher too. Got to kind of duck to get in there. But let's mount from there, E to E, to there, out to here. Hmm, for that matter, this one could go from here to him as well. That way it's not as redundant. And from there to there. Okay, what's that looking like? Not crossing the stairs here. And if I duck, I can get under here and up, and I'm not crossing it. Okay, I think I've got a winner. And the blade isn't crossing it either. Okay, all right, we've got second floor figured out. Now third floor. Almost has to take off. Well, we got to go through the bedroom now. So do we go up and over the roof? I need to get in through the roof from here, about that level. Or I need to get in that window, which is kind of what I was doing when I started the episode. I said I was contemplating windmills and automation. I kind of need it. Hmm. I need it up there, running around the house at window level and dropping in there. 
That would be kind of fun to have a, a maze of these belts all around the island just to accomplish one little task at the very end. <laughs> um, although if I eliminated this, I could come up under the eaves, but that still puts it in the bedroom. Still brings it into this window here. Now, if I came in really low, I could punch out a hole there and there. That's an idea, if I could get in right there. Okay, well, let's try that then. So, no, that's not what I want. Build, and let's grab floor, and we'll make it that little guy. So delete you, and put you in. And then wall, and take you out. Actually, I need triangle. What do I need? I need triangle, square triangle. Let's go square first. That's pretty tight. Hmm, I need something smaller than that one. I need the next size down. I need the square version of, let's see here, of that. Yeah. So you're going to end up somewhere like so. And you're going to end up there. And that's the square that's left. Hmm. Well, we'll get things moved in first. So I need to eliminate all of this as well. So we'll rebuild the walls according to where the belt works out. Yeah. So in that case, I need... Actually, I guess i got to have that triangle. Because I'm going to have to put one of these right there and I can't see it when I do it so if that could sit right in there I guess I could mount it to the wall like that not meant to be that way but it kind of accomplishes the goal if I were to belt off of you to you so close there you go that kind of accomplishes it though it would be better if this was sitting out a little bit yeah, let's do that. So I need to find a way to move you out a tiny, tiny little bit. Um, how small do the floor triangles get? So let's get rid of you. And take you down to your tiniest. And rotate you around like this. You're only going to sit in the middle though, right? Middle and that point there. Hmm. The shelves are too big. Alright, what looks better? How small does this guy get? Uh, that's wrong. Yeah, that is the right one. Yeah, not small enough. Okay. Um, oh, actually, one more. But still, yeah, not small enough. Okay, what else do we have? What are the rest of our building blocks? We could do something like this. Yeah. And... Oh, we could do there to there. Now a little bigger. Now I gotta click and then I can delete. And let's go the bigger size. There. Don't get dark on me. There. Where I can see both sides. About like that. Looks a little different. Not quite centered, but it gets the point across. Yeah, boy, it gets dark quick. And then build another one of these guys on top of that. That kicks it out just a little bit. I have to be able to see it from above to do it. Hmm. Can I do that? Come on, snap. It's not snapping. There's the front. There's the wall. And I need to be at that level anyway, so that doesn't work. Hmm. Alright, go sleep again. Bring the sun back. It would be nice if in the settings there is a way to choose how long you want nighttime to be. So that folks that are recording would have more options. Yeah, it's, it's all my fault. Okay, let's get rid of you and you. So I need you here. 
but I need you away from the wall a little bit. How do I space that out? So I'll go back to the triangle idea. Um, you. I think that's my only option. There. And take you down to the, the tiny. Put you... There. But it looks like you're... There you are. Okay. So is that the right spot? I think so. So if I do that, can I then set this guy at that level? There we go. He's still a little too high, though. Let's flip the triangle over. There. And E? Yeah, right there. And I don't think I really need to build that. I think I'll leave it. So you... See if I can come over just a little bit more. That's looking pretty good. And it gets it away from the, the wall so the belt doesn't drive in. Okay, let's try that. So, tiny little hitbox. There to there. That looks better. Doesn't look good at this point. It needs a better transition, but... We'll, we'll, we'll pretend that works. Okay, so we're up there now. And we're going to track along the floor. Along the the eave there. Okay. So, I guess we'll just use the original. That's pretty close. There. E. Escape. And we actually didn't hit the chase. Okay. So, we are working now, though could use one more of you guys back in here. But you're too tall. Yeah. Doesn't work. I'd like to have this height, but back there. So all these guys can track into it and branch out. That'll work, though. Okay, let's close this up. So you are right along in there. Let's see where the triangles land. So there. Flip around. Um... You're having a hard time, aren't you? You are. Well, that is above there, so we'll call that good. And take you down another notch. In there. And I think we're going to go... That's right, there are no smaller walls. Hmm. Yep, there isn't the one more. So that is not going to do what I need. Well, that's going to be good enough for now, then. Build you. Build you. And we'll fix that later. But I've already shot 15 minutes trying to make that look good. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we have automation again, which means we can drop you guys in there and get that working. And I tossed some things in here, so we grab these... And let's get what kind of quantity of ropes do we have right now? So I guess ropes should be stored up there as well as the linen. That way I can see the quantities as I'm making it. I've got 50 rope right now. I don't think I need to worry about that. So only 16 of these guys. So let's. And, but I can't make sails out of linen. I need sails out of wool. Hmm. Wool, I've got five only right now. Do I have wool on me? Let's run the wool through first. Let's go shear some. Do that as well. Uh, that was entirely the wrong direction. Um, shears, right there. Number eight. There we go. Hello. So, shears, let's see, do I have feed on me? I have only three. Let's get some more. We'll do that. We'll go ahead and put uh, half of that in there. Enough to feed everybody, get them all excited. But in the meantime, let's feed our sheep. And let's shear our sheep. Thank you. And let's feed our Dude! 
Okay, that's an animation I haven't seen before. And let's grab your 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 goods there. All right, there's all the wool. Look at this. It is feeding time in the goat shed. Yep. All right, don't run with scissors. Let's get up here and make some more wool cloth to make more sails eventually. All right, let's get you used up first. And we'll run you through quickly, then we'll set the linen to just uh, work on its own. There we go. 18. We've got three per. And then back into here, toss all of you guys in, and just let you run. So over here, we've got nothing being made, and we're fine. So that's done now. Um, let's... Can we... Well, we're about one in the afternoon. There's probably time to do the small island. We haven't done any of this. That's right. So, I got distracted there. Why was that? Oh, garlic. That's what it was. I've got garlic on me now. Um, oh, we made the 18. Let's go ahead and make two more. And two more. Well, not 20 more. Well, I guess we can drop all you guys in. We're going to use you. In fact, we're going to use all of you. Okay, so there's the two more. Then we will toss these guys in here and speed this along. Or at least attempt to. Gotta concentrate there. Yep, lost it. <laughs> I want to hit that double right there, but I know what's going to happen. We finished. I thought it froze. Okay, grab you, toss you in there. We'll do this 13. Oh, we won't touch it. Just let it do its thing. Well, that's still going to take a while, though. Um, boom. So it's not so much speeding it up as that every time you hit it, it completes one. A lot easier to complete it when they're bigger, though gotta say failure is a good thing in this case all right 13 and we'll leave that other one in there we'll make some more soon all right coat tools select tool let's get you recoded and with that and then let's select tool this guy as our backup and coat and we're good there we've got 12 more 11 more for whatever animals we find we've got feed on us We've got grain. I think we're good. It is 2, 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm going... That's the little one right there. Wow, you're blurry. Okay, take off. Boom, boom. All right, slowing down. Hmm. Let's get a little closer. So if we get too close, it, it gets all foggy. I'm not seeing any red. Oh, there's... No, that's a boom boom. Over there, there are some enemies in the ground. Okay, there's two enemies there. The one right there is going to jump off to his doom, and I don't want him to do that. He may have just done it. Nope, he's still there. Oh, hello. I've got shears on. I've got shears. Okay, took out you... And boom! Okay. Yeah, don't go into battle with shears. It, it, it might work, I don't know. Not, not the best tactic. Okay, here's the one who's going to fly off and die. And there's another one right in front of us. So let's just play with you. Let's see if I can get him to bounce toward me. The one behind me, right? Okay. Hello. Don't die. Toward me. There you go. Okay. Gotcha. Got four more samples. There. Charge. And you didn't turn blue. There you go. Boom, space. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, that's kind of fun. <laughs> it's fun when it works. Okay. Who else is around here? Um, around this guy, or one of those. You? Yeah, that one. I think it's where the two of them were. 
Watching for boom booms. I don't know. See, is that one or this one? I'm not seeing him in there. No. I'm charged. So we'll head over to this one. Nope. I think we're done. Okay. Well, let's take this guy out. Yeah, they kicked my butt. I didn't take my... Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm in trouble here. I didn't take my... My, uh... My pie. Let's go over here real quick. And... Got boom booms. Get past the boom booms. Maybe they will go... They didn't. Okay. I'm gonna jump off. And... No, you don't jump off, too. I'm going over here... Let's go down over here. Okay. Real quick. You, you, E, 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 go. Alright. I make it? I made it. But where'd they go? I wonder if they despawn. There have been a few times when I've had them chasing me and then they weren't there anymore. He apparently went back into the ground. Did the other ones too? So they must only last for so long before they give up and go back in. There were three. I only. I don't think I killed any of them when they all three were ganging up on me. But after a while, there was only one after me. Maybe I did kill them. Okay, so where's the round thing? What does it look like? That's him right over there. And we're done. Okay, so the sword still has three quarters of a charge to it. Got you over there. Let's see who you are. You are a pheasant, so we'll give you a cure. We don't need to feed you, that's right. We can certainly say hi, though, and learn that your name is Allison. Okay. What else do we have? So this is a pheasant island, or was... Hmm. And what else is around here? Nice pond in the middle. So let's grab you guys. If I click, will I? Yeah, I did. Okay, so now these I wish we could take up too. No, nope. I can get you. Alright, so nothing down there. Any more sugar cane? Yeah, right here. Make sure I don't accidentally take out a pheasant. Okay. Don't see any more purple. So it must have just been the two. I can grab these guys for for hay for later. Don't think the pheasants are going to need it. Though I can't see the pheasants through it. Where are you guys right now? I'm oh, sorry, it was just the one. The other one didn't make it. So one pheasant here. But now we've got plenty of pheasants. Be a little overcrowded after a while. There you are. Okay, don't kill the pheasant. Right there. And there. Gotcha. Alright. Any reason to poke around on this island? Oh, of course there is, but... Will there be any success? I'm curious about this. So a dirt path. Can you get soil off a dirt path? You can. It just goes back to being a... Oh. We're patching it back up again. Alright, so that's not helping. <laughs> no. Nothing there. And... Peek in here. No. Where else? I mean, none of this seems like the right kind of place. Kind of doesn't. The hints that I got were like a, a ring of stones around nothing. Or... Plants that just don't belong there. Or a 
high place with no reward as just some examples of where there might be a chest. So, nothing there really qualified as that. Wow, coming in hot. Alright, slowing down. So we'll hit that one tomorrow. Let's, boom, think about sleeping. And then, well, I still have some food value to me. So maybe we, we do want to do this. Let's grab you and make another one of you. And let's, let me go up and bring the sun back real quick and see just how much of my, my buff is still working. Does eight hours of sleep cancel it? It does take away some. It is less. Okay. Let's wait for the next perk to pop in. And just dive in and do it. Could use getting rid of some of the... Uh, some of what I'm carrying. So, down the floor. Get a little more inventory space. So, wool is here. What else do I have? Planks. Rocks. Um, ropes. Leaves. And... Temporarily, I could toss those in there, too. And let's see. Crafting supplies is what I'm calling them. That's right. That's what's something I wanted to do. I was going to do that off camera. I thought, no, let's wait and do that here. Let's build a stone chest here. Where would that be? There you are. Are there variants of it? Uh, no. Let's get rid of you. Put you right here. Yeah, let's see, it touched that direction. There we go. So here, we can put these guys all back in. Uh, feathers. Yeah, I think that will do. Now we've got some of this to put away. And we've got dirt and eggs to put away. I keep, I'll keep the dirt on me. Let's just toss the eggs. And call that good. Kind of running out of buff, though. I really am. I think I will wait until that runs out rather than get halfway through and all of a sudden that bar just vanishes. So, thinking of the gazebo here, let's do that. And is there any chance we've been sitting on a treasure chest this whole time and didn't know it? Kind of wonder about things like that. I can put the dirt back in, but let, you can't take it out once you build a floor on top of it. So, let's do that. One more here and here. Okay. Yeah, pathway, sure. We'll take we'll take it out there so it doesn't affect the pathway as much. Alright, and you two? Eh, no. So while we're waiting for that to turn off, let's lay out that foundation. Exactly how now I don't know. Oh, we just turned off? No. Um guess we've got more building tools now. I was gonna make that that pattern that I did that one time, like a crisscross of these guys and then fill in the corners. But we've got this now with round roofs. So we could do just a, a round thing, but that's not a real gazebo. No, we need the eight-sided. And I see it's time to go to battle, so let's go ahead and do that. So you eat that one. Eat one additional meal. I think I finished them all off. Yeah. Grab a pumpkin. And what do you do? You just give me eight and plus 20 stamina. Oh, that milk is a good thing. Okay. I need to get back there and milk some more. Let's take two of you to fill that up. And let's do this. I found if I pull up each time I hit boost, I gain a little altitude. And it seems to give me a little more bang for the buck. This is a good size island. This is. Like that last one. That last one seemed to go on forever. So let's go all the way up to the top and work. Eh, I don't know. That top looks pretty congested. Alright, bad guys. At least the red caps. What I call them. The red helmets. Let's drop into you. Oh, and one... No one popped in behind me. Okay. Boy, that's quite an expanse. 
this would be a great island to build on. It really would. Alright, let's take care of you first. Charged up. Trigger you. And boom, space. That Boy, that failed miserably. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work either. It's hit and miss for me. Dropping in. Charge up. And it didn't charge at all. Okay, just go back to old school. Hit them. Hit them really hard. Alright, what's also on this? What are you? You're a little different. Now, some of these are a little different. One's redder than the other. Wow. Hold it for a long, long time, then let go, and don't bother mashing any of the keys, and it's a pretty powerful hit. I wonder if it's a roll of the dice, you know, whether you get a critical hit or not, or you just get a, a tough hit. Boy, there's a landmine field in here. Yeah. Over there. Hello. Follow me. Let's see. Trigger. Boom. Kind of. Trigger. Trigger. Boom. Boom! Got me too, I think. Got him. Oh, I didn't get... I got two Mictor, Mictor out of that, but I didn't get the other... the fancy ones out of it. Ah, so I gotta take him out myself. Still plenty of charge. Okay, so let's see who's next. We've hit all the Boom Booms over here. Anybody hiding deeper in? Oh, you look at that. Wow. Fancy. I wonder if it let me open it up at this point. Or if it's going to say, nope, sorry. How did I get in there? <laughs> nope, it is not letting me through. Okay. Alright, up in here. Hello. And around like so. You're a suspect. Yeah, you look a little different. Alright. Yeah, I think that's the best one right there. Just hold it and let go. And then walk on. Heard something. Where'd I hear ya? Whoa! I heard a boom! Okay, pumpkin's running out. Maybe I will grab some milk. Are you something? You are, right? You're a little taller than the other one. Nope, you're not. Okay, so let's take this guy out. Okay, we've got one third left. Um, I think I, I was going to say I use just the axe on this and save it, but I think it has to do with gathering it from this guy as well. Yeah, I would imagine the six wouldn't be there if I just used the axe on that step. Okay, so boom, boom there. Come around this side. I think we've got to fly up now. Yeah, I think so. Of course, we've got the shelf over here. Whoops. And there is a bad guy on it. Okay. We'll do that. Duck. Charge. Oh, there's two bad guys on it. You're stuck. Okay. Let's trigger you. Thank you. Come on over. Oh, duck. Go. Okay. Now, can you get through? Let's see if I can hit them both. Oh, the charge didn't last. Okay, hold it again. Charge up. Not, no, no purple. Uh, still got my... My secret sauce on it. Charging and... No, we're not going purple anymore. Oh, different level? Interesting. So, it is a line of sight thing. I was up here, it wouldn't let me do it. I had to get down below. Okay, jumping over. And I'm probably getting low on the charge on this guy. So, I need to check it before I activate the next one. Drop in here. You are... Got a few hits left. So let's charge up and take this guy out. Wake up. That didn't work. I held it and... Yep. So... It's definitely a, a timing issue there. 
All right, so anybody else in here? Nope. Hearing noises, but there are, I'm guessing, natural noises that just kind of randomly hit as you're walking around. And there's a noise when they come out of the ground. There's also the noise when they die. I may as well just pop you because you're in my way. Okay. You trigger anybody else? Nope. So who else is in here? Okay. Running straight through. No one. Okay. Well, we got over here yet. No. This whole level and there's nobody to come out and greet me? Interesting. No, nope. Nobody else hiding in here. Okay, let's go finish it off then. So, charge left. It's getting close. Let's switch over to six. Alright. So let's poke that guy. Lure them over here. Who's going to get me first? Right there. Charge and stab. Charge and stab. Okay. So this guy is not quite as powerful. Took two of those. Unless I just rolled critical hits the other time. Hey. So maybe that is a thing. Is that both of you? It seems to be. This one does have a faster attack speed, though. Boom, 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 boom. Can't do that with the with the sword. All right. I, apparently, I am not done. So, let's run. Space, space. Space, space. Oh, space. I need space. Okay, what am I missing? So down in here. Is that the level we did below, or is that just a similar one? No, I think it's a, the right placement. Uh, is there something inside somewhere? I suppose that's possible. Up a little higher. I don't see any more nodes. But we're not done. So there must be an underneath or cave entrance. Not obvious, though. You guys see a node I'm missing? Huh. What did I miss? What's in here? Uh, how do you get in there? When you can't destroy this stuff. Okay. Let's see if I can convince this guy to fly. And go in up here. Yeah. This guy's being challenging. All right, so is there another secret entrance? And this is the really the exit. Um, no. Crawl. No. Oh, I'm almost. Nope. Can't do that, even crawling. Can't clip through the world. All right, what's the secret here? All right, let's fly again. So any other entrances down in here that cuts through the whole mountain? I do have a wall of stuff down in here. Let's see what this is all about. Boom, boom over there. Yeah, this is at that level, but I still don't see a way in. Wow. Doesn't want me to go in there. Nope, doesn't. Can't go there. You? Ah, we have an inn. An inn is what? I don't see any nodes. No nodes. So what is still holding this, the corruption onto this island? And can I really get back out? <laughs> Drop down. Over. Alright. Getting dark. We need to find another node. 
right there. How many times did I walk around that? I know you guys are probably yelling into the your computer screens there. It's right over there. Okay, well, it was it was a fun trip anyway. Come on over here. There you go. Accidentally got a double out of that. Okay, and this guy's just lost. Guys, wait up! Okay, you're done, and boom, boom, boom. We're done. Alright, that gave us an extra 84. Wow, that was a good island. And a little too dark to really enjoy what is here. So let's come right back. Um, yeah, we'll, st we'll start over there at the, uh, at the ruin. Now, would an island that already has a stone chest... Well, this one isn't stone. But would it then give you another stone chest? So good arrows, lots of wood, got some seeds, some more fiber. All right. So, and this time I did notice the torches beforehand. That was a, a genuine surprise last time, but it was just a surprise on me. <laughs> All right, so we've got this area, and I could do a lot of cleaning up after the episode. Otherwise, we've got an elevated space over here. That kind of says I'm special. What do you think? Yeah, I'm just... I'm just guessing. I haven't nailed one of these right yet. Okay. That's a no. Um, we'll still walk the whole place, though, and see if there's any animals to rescue and, and any other surprises. So we've got a knowledge stone over here. So I haven't missed any flax, right? No. Wheat is pretty easy, but there's so many wildflowers. Flax does kind of blend in and get forgotten. All right, berry pyramid under here. No. Ever see the uh, different pyramids that they've found, that, you know, on Google Earth that are just mounds at this point, completely covered, but from the uh, satellite view, they're able to determine that there is something under there if they just start digging. So that's what I think of when I see these mounds. All right, I'm going to say there's nothing more here. Uh, I haven't found any animals yet either. So in here, tucked off to a side. No. And we did this spot in a previous island and there was nothing. So there's probably going to be nothing here, too. In fact, it does look like a similar design. It probably is the same island. Okay. So let's go out. In fact, those are the same mounds I made that comment on last time. Now that I see them from this angle. So in that case, I don't think we found anything on it. Let's just look around. There's a lot of stones over here. Whoa! hate when that happens. Especially when it's in the middle of an island. I mean, I, I understand the Venturi effect, but it's when it's underneath you, it shouldn't have that kind of power over you. Hmm. Okay. As I was saying, there's a lot of stones over here. So... Well, I'll take a peek. Just randomly. No, not gonna happen. Okay, not the right kinds of stones. Hmm. Nope, not gonna fly. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been here before. Now, can I make that? Up, again, again. There we go. All right, up in here, there are no purple cocoons on this island. Interesting. Okay, looks like it's normal stuff over there. Up in here. Not even 
anything to to scavenge off this except for these guys and rocks. You're interesting. Hello. I wish we could mine these guys for something special. Yeah, there you go. There's an idea for the game. This is your source of iron or copper or something. Yeah, let's 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 get I vote for that one. Get some kind of smelting going on. Okay, well I think this island is done. If you saw something that I didn't and say go back to that third rock from the yeah, from the the weird colored stump or whatever. <laughs> Otherwise, let's get back home and where am I an hour already wow so next time we'll have to build the gazebo and the the uh, sheep fold the sheep pen without doing any island hopping because we're not going to be able to do both in the same hour not unless I cut out all the fun stuff I was sitting here debating whether to go ahead and try and build it anyway but I would like to take my time and just really play with all of the different possibilities, which means another 10-15 minutes. But let's at least lay out the beginning. Um, where is center? Can I do that from here and survey from... Yeah, if I were to go there, that once you touch something, it will align it to it. So if I were to touch this guy, now we're curved at that angle. Touch this guy, we're curved at that angle. I think I'd like it to be right off of that and into there. It's the top of the hill from this alignment. But I do want it a little bit lower so that the stairs reach. So if I hit here and there and there. So there is where I was trying to get to. Though I am a little close to here. So top of the hill. So aligned with that is probably not going to happen. I need to be more like here. So if I were to manual, I think I can get a half a step out, which means I could maintain this elevation that I grabbed from down there. Uh, roll the mouse. There you are. Right there. That gets me a little closer to middle and not lose the elevation. Alright. So essentially I'm looking at something Let's go back to auto. It's a lot less confusing. There, 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 there. And then I guess stairs down from those four points. We'll see. It could be stairs down from all the points, maybe. It depends on what kind of walls we put in. Now, we could do something a little bit different here and go with a round corner. I guess that's possible. Oops. And then we would steer down at all the points here. Not going to continue on, let's see, today, but just get this part built and steer at it a little. I keep hitting the wrong button. All right, there. there all right so with just that and from up here what do you guys think the rounded or do we go to the corners and make a more traditional gazebo with eight sides hmm the roof will be hard there still is no way to roof that we'd have to almost round above instead of the straight above but even that's possible hmm so think about that and and, uh, yeah, the sheep pen over there somewhere, and we'll get into all that next time. So, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.